Starting the recording for more F1 Championship Edition, otherwise known as F1 2006. Now, I know I said last video that I turned up the difficulty. Turns out I can't. I remember switching the difficulty from medium to hard, but it turns out I can't. I think I can't switch the difficulty in the middle of a season. Which, you know, fuck that. <laughs> That's bullshit. But, okay, so maybe maybe I can switch it at the end of the season. Maybe maybe I can do that. Maybe, I don't know. I, n I never gotten this far into my career mode, but whatever. Okay, last time, I was in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. I think I finished outside the points, but... Yep, frick you, Coulthard and Alonso. You did this to me. But, whatever. New race, new opportunities. This time, we're going to the United States for the USGP. Except, we're not going to Austin. Nope, in 2006... Formula One went to the Indianapolis road course, which is held in, well, Indianapolis, but, you know, whatevs. Technically, this is my home GP, so let's try to get some, score some points. Let's go to the land of freedom and guns and riots. <laughs> I'm just asking to get cancelled. And cheeseburgers, yeah. Forgot, almost forgot about the cheeseburgers. And McDonald's. And, uh, what else is American? And expensive as frick healthcare. Yeah, there you go. Pretty much nailed America right there. Freedom, guns, cheeseburgers, riots, and expensive as frick healthcare. Okay. Race car evolution, alright. As always, I'll pause here. Unpaused. Okay. Did the race car evolution? Maybe I don't have to turn up the difficult uh, difficulty, because I was out, out, out outside the top ten in practice. But that's just practice. I've got a feeling that <laughs> I'll be at the I'll be at the back. So. Welcome to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. All right. I want to be the first one out. And I actually get slicks this time around. During practice, I had intermediates for some reason, even though there was not a drop of rain in the sky. Well, I meant drop of rain falling to the ground. I don't know about water in clouds. But you get what I mean. But now I actually get slicks. We're gonna take that white line. Let's get the most out of that top speed. Oh, that poor engine. I mean, it sounds awesome revving that restricted V10 to its limits, but oh. <laughs> Please, Williams, get out of the way. Thank you. Dang, where did that come from? I didn't get uh, get into the 1 minute 12s in practice. Is this because of the slicks? Yuji Ide finishes his fast lap. Not bad, but not great. He'll be reasonably happy with that. Felt a bit of uh, oversteer on the exit. I didn't really feel it, I just sent, uh, 
I looked. <laughs> I don't really get much feedback from the controller. Slower. Shit. Well, return to garage then. How am I in first? How am I in first? Wait. Am I on softs? No, okay. I was watching this session. Here we go. It, we have the Williams of somebody. Don't know who that is. Just got ahead of the Midlands F1. F1 car. I don't know who this is. Oh, n now we're on to... I think that is Kimi Raikkonen and the Mercedes McLaren. Oh, I love that livery. Silver. I think it's silver. Either that or gray. Yeah, well, reflective gray. He's caught up in a battle between a Honda and a Sauber. He's probably yelling at the Sauber driver to move out of the way. But will the Sauber driver move out of the way? I want to put my bets on... No. You wouldn't mind getting a toe in qualifying, would you? Kimi Raikkonen crosses the line and gets third place on 1 minute 12.6. And puts him behind Michael Schumacher, if I remember correctly. I think all three drivers just want to keep it clean for a while. Oh, now we're on to Juan Pablo Montoya and the other Mercedes McLaren. He's also just driving alone. Not that far behind his teammate Kimi Raikkonen. Now we're on to Giancarlo Fisichetti. Never mind, we're on to the Toyota of someone. Either Yarno Trulli or Ralph Schumacher. In fact, I think he'd rather forget about it all together. That is Yarno Trulli, and he's almost five seconds behind me. Well, dang. That is truly unfortunate. I wouldn't mind signing for Toyota. Oh, well, now we're on to Fernando Alonso, the person that absolutely screwed me in the Canadian GP, along with David Coulthard. I hope he's happy. I hope he's happy with what he's done. Takuma Sato completes his flying lap. He won't be very happy with that at all. The car was all over the place. Now we're on to Michael Schumacher, the person who tried to screw me in qualifying. Well, he didn't get his chance this time around, did he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, now we're on to Felipe Massa. He's just starting his time to lap now. Now we're on to either Rubens Barrichello or Jensen Button in the Honda. Look at that glorious Lucky Strike livery. Also, I'm just noticing that the Lucky Strike was missing. The brand that I mean. Here we go. We have Nico Rosberg. He's about to finish his time to lap. And it's only good enough for 12. Clocking in 199 kilometers. That is a that is an okay lap from Rosberg in the Williams. I believe Williams was a midfield team at this time. Kimi Raikkonen finishes again. Only good enough for a third. Looks like he didn't improve. But looks like he's ahead of the Honda of either Rubens Barrichello or Jensen Button. Looks like it's the Honda's turn to get some tow. Well, we're on to a different Honda now. One that is not near any Mercedes McLarens. Posts a new qualifying time. He should be satisfied with that. Now we're on to... A Toyota. I think that is Ralph Schumacher. I think so. Ralph Schumacher has a... Has a yellow helmet. Oh, and here we have the man who screwed me. From behind, David Coulthard. 
only good enough for 16. Good. Stay the hell away from me. Gotta admit though, that Red Bull livery does look sweet. Now we're on to the Sauber of someone. Well, I don't know. Now we're on to the Midlands F1 team. I don't know who this is. Well, now we're on to Takuma Sato and the Super Aguri. Man, I wish this team was more competitive. Because that literally looks so sweet. And now we have a different Red Bull. I don't know if that's still David Coulthard or Christian Clean. Oh, now we have a Midlands F1 car. Letting way uh, for the Renault that look of uh, I actually don't know who that is. I didn't get a look at the helmet. Jacques Villeneuve completes a fast lap. Hopefully he's pleased with that result. Now we have now we have Jack Villeneuve in P14. He's made quite an impact with that lap. Now we have Juan Pablo Montoya, who is about to finish another time the lap. Is he going to be good enough? Is he gonna beat my time? Oh, doesn't look like it. Only good for fifth. Not a bad, not a bad attempt there from Juan Pablo Montoya. Not bad at all. Giancarlo Fisichella completes his hot lap. Okay, I think that's enough looking. Only two minutes left. I can just end the session right here. We'll continue in a few moments with the second knockout session where we'll decide grid positions 16 to 11. Okay, with the on to Q2. I am staying the on the hards phase, and see what I can do. Is likely to be very competitive. The I think I need to turn up the, get another bite of the, cherry to see if uh, the really difficulty. I don't know if I can switch it in between seasons. I might have to start a new one, which I don't want to do. Maybe there is a way to do it. I I'll look after the Grand Prix. My tires are still a bit cold, but that's mainly down to me. I'm at the Tire Whisperer. I am not Alex Albon. Or whatever. Here we go. First time to lap. Let's go. Lost it a little bit. Ah, oh, one minute thirteen. That is unfortunate. Nico Rosberg posts a new lap time. That should have been a lap invalidated. <laughs> I went over the white line. Over the place. Well, wh why did I do that? Why did I do that? Good enough for a second. Okay. Heading back to the garage. Felipe Massa, Ralph Schumacher, mm. Mark Webber. Yeah, oh, I know I messed up that one. Watch the session again. Here we have the Ferrari of Felipe Massa, the man that out-qualified me. Now we're on to the Williams of 
I don't know. I think that's Nico Ross. Never mind. We're going to a different Williams. Racing out there alone. Now we have the Red Bull of either Christian Clean or David Coulthard. Who's in a group with a Honda behind him? Never mind. We're on to Kimi Raikkonen in the Mercedes McLaren. Mm, still, beautiful livery. Now we're on to the other Mercedes McLaren of Juan Pablo Montoya. Now we're on to Giancarlo Fisichella in the Renault. Now, n never mind. Uh, we're on to the Honda. Of never mind. We're on to Ralph Schumacher. <laughs> <laughs> Not giving me any time. Well, we have a Toyota battling a Sauber. And I'm guessing they're all jostling for a position. Oh, he lets the Sauber through! Never mind, we're not gonna watch that. We're gonna watch a hunt. Ne never mind, we're gonna watch another Toyota! Either that's our, either Yarno Truly or Ralph Schumacher. He's approaching a group that is all jostling for a position. The, n never mind, we're on to the Ferrari of Michael Schumacher. Never mind, we're on to Jack Villeneuve in the Sauber. He's racing alone. Now we're on to the Honda of someone who's in front of a Renault, possibly giving the Renault a tow. What will it be good enough for? Jensen Button with a 116.4. Mark Webber completes a flying lap. He'll be upset with that performance. He'll know the car is capable of more. Looks like we have. We're on to another. So no, we're on to the Ferrari of Felipe Massa, the man on pole. Provisional pole. Now we're on to Kimi Raikkonen, who's about to finish. Finish a timed lap. Look at the ice man. Going so fast. Let's see what it'll be good for. One, two. Oh, oh, and he's on pole. You go, Kimi. He's on provisional pole. Actually, is it still called provisional pole if it's not even Q3? I don't know. Physicaler finishes in fifth with a one minute twelve point eight. He'll be thrilled with that. It was a fantastic lap. Fastest in session two. Wait, what? Michael shoot it changed who's on pole? Oh, Kimmy Raikkonen got bumped down. Michael Schumacher is now on pole. Nick I better leave now. Okay, go now. We put on the better tire compounds. Oh, I'm in four. Do I really need to do this? Oh, I don't know. Oh boy. Uh. Try and build a gap behind me. All right, here we go. Time to lap. Start in now. I have a Ferrari behind me. Is that Massa or Shumi? Ralph Schumacher posts a new qualifying time. Hopefully, he's happy with that lap time. Five tenths up, five tenths up. Ooh, and I put it on pole. Ooh, 
And my tires weren't even warm yet. Huh, looks like the Ferraris couldn't screw me this time around. Well, nah, I'm not even trying for a fast lap. I know what I've done. Eh, eh, eh. You know what? I'm so confident. Come on. Come on, Ferrari. Oh, wait, that's Felipe Massa. I saw the white, uh, the yellow helmet. Yeah, I'll just box it. Check an OBS if the screen is glitching out again. I should have checked it earlier, but uh, I'm just stupid. Everything seems fine. Cool, cool, cool. I, I put it on pole. Oh my god! Like four tenths. Four tenths ahead of Shumi. Maybe I should. Maybe I should uh, think about turning up the difficulty at the end of the season. Because this is just ridiculous. If I was in anything faster, I would be dominating this. <laughs> if I was in a McLaren or something, McLaren Ferrari right now, I would be at the top of the standings. With like a second gap to the, my closest competitor. And that should not be happening. Uh, um, okay. Okay. Session 2 has ended with me on pole. Let's do this, Q3. We'll continue with session three of qualifying in a few moments. Full opportunity to try and get that all important pole position. I don't know if I'll be able to get this. This is different. I have a heavier fuel load now. And I did it without any assistance or tow. I didn't get any tow during this lap, so, or during that lap, I should say. Oh, that actually helped. Leaving the car does do that. Alright, here we go. First timed lap of Q3. Oh, that was unreasonably slow. My tires are warmed up now. One minute, twelve point six. Well, this is the beauty about the final shootout session. I have more fuel, therefore, I can go for longer. No Viagra needed. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding, I'm a virgin? No girl is stupid enough to think I'm a good romantic partner. You, you, you either gotta be desperate or just stupid. Or maybe you were dared to. Whoa, 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 Whoops. Oh, don't lose your temps now, tires. I really think F1 should return here. Now that the new chicane... Well, it's not really new, but new for Formula 1. But there's now a chicane that would normally be here. I really think Formula One should give this circuit a chance. Because now that the layout has changed since the last time uh, Formula One has been here. Formula One cars are now safer than they were back in the early 2000s. And there's also the Halo. 
And now we're no longer relying on Bridgestones or Mi Michelins, just Pirellis. Felipe Massa. Michael Schumacher. So who knows? Alonso, maybe the Formula One cars would do one do well on here again. Jason Button, Nick Heidfeld. Still somehow on pole. I go faster. Tilt controls are OP. <laughs> I'm boxing this lap. This lap is already botched anyway. I really shouldn't be on provisional pole, but whatever. I'll take what I can get. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, my nearest my nearest competitor is Giancarlo Fisichella and he is and his best time was a 113.0. Sweet lord, that's almost a second behind. I really should not be this high up. But whatever. Well, we're watching um, the runner-up in this qualifying session, Giancarlo Fisichella. Let's see, is he going to go faster in this sector? Faster than me? Well, I guess we'll never know since we switched cams. Okay, well, Kimi Raikkonen in here is about to finish... D never mind, we're on to Michael Schumacher, who's just starting another time lap. Now we're on to Fernando Alonso driving alone, about to finish another time to lap. Are we going to see him cross the line, or are we going to switch per perspectives again? He goes on the big banked turn, big banked corner. Is he going to nail? No, his time is only good enough for fifth. The Ferrari behind him. Oh, I think that is Michael Schumacher. He also puts in a qualifying time, but we don't know how fast he's going because we're not in his perspective. Now we're on the Felipe Massa. Oh, I don't know. I think Felipe Massa was the Ferrari behind Fernando Alonso. Never mind then. Now we're on to Rubens Barrichello. Is he going to be faster than me through this sector? No, he's not. He is six tenths down. Now we're on to Juan Pablo Montoya, who is just starting another time to lap. Now we're on to Jensen Button, starting a time to lap as well. Are we going to see him complete this sector, or are we switching perspectives? I really have no control over this. Well, now we're on to Nick Heinfeld. He's in the middle of the second sector. Is he going to be able to best me? You never know. Giancarlo Fisichella, Michael Schumacher. Mm, doesn't Fernando look like it. Alonso. Now we're on to Giancarlo Fisichella. No, never mind. We're on to Kimi Raikkonen. He's in the second sector, if I remember correctly. Mmm. He was close to my sector time. Here's Michael Schumacher. No, never mind. This is Felipe Massa. He's in sector two. Will he be able to beat my time? Doesn't look like it. Here we have Fernando Alonso, who's in sector three. Never mind, we're on to Rubens Barrichello, who just finished the second sector. It is about a second down, more than a second down. Now we have Jensen Button. Who's in the middle of the second sector? Now we're on to Giancarlo Fisichella, who's on the first sector, putting in another time to lap. I really suck at commentating. I will never judge Crofty or Martin Brundle again. Here we have Mom, Mom Pablo Montoya, who is about to finish another time to lap. Good enough for seventh with a one minute thirteen point eight. Respectable, respectable, respectable. With the Ferrari of Michael Schumacher behind him. Am I still on provisional pole? Yes, I am, when I really shouldn't be. We have eight minutes left in this session. I'm sorry if, uh, I'm not speaking as clearly. Because I have an open sore in my mouth and I can't speak as clearly. Because if I try to, it hurts. So I'm sorry. Drinking water does not help. Giancarlo Fisichella battling 
the Mercedes McLaren, and we're not gonna get any of that because that's stupid. Why would we watch some? Why would we watch some potential racing here at qualifying when we can be watching Jensen Button in the Honda driving alone? And now we have Felipe Massa also driving alone. Look at that awesome red Ferrari without all the tobacco sponsors. Now we have Juan Pablo Montoya about to finish a lap! Only good enough for 8th. Looks like he dropped down. He was giving Michael Schumacher the toe. Oh! Is Michael Schumacher going to go for the move? He does, but oh! Montoya just slams the door shut. They bang wheels. Oh, it looks like it was wheel banging wheel to side pod. Montoya stays in front. Schumacher is not going to be happy about that at all. Now we have Nick Heinfeld in the Sauber. Part of me wishes BMW makes a return to Formula 1. But knowing how costly it is to enter Formula 1, especially nowadays, I doubt it. I, I doubt it. I mean, if they wanted to, they could. Can you imagine it? Mercedes versus BMW. German manufacturer showdown. Picture it. Because I'm picturing it. And it looks cool. But who would be their driver lineup? If anyone's watching, comment down below, please. If BMW were to re enter the sport as a manufacturer's team like Mercedes, who would be their drivers? You think they would get some old, some veteran drivers? Like maybe they can get Sebastian Vettel? Or someone else? Fernando Alonso? No, he, he seems committed to Alpine. Or maybe some rookie drivers from Formula 2. Like Callum Eilat or something? I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? No one knows. I know nothing. Now here we have Jensen Button, who just finished his quality in Sector 1. Five tenths back. And now he's in Sector 2. Now we have... Juan Pablo Montoya, who is still leading against Michael Schumacher. Maybe Schumacher is just... is accepted the fact that... the Mercedes McLaren is gonna stay in front. And we'll try to get a toe. Here we have Giancarlo Fisichella in Sector 2. Never mind, we're on to Michael Schumacher! Maybe he'll get the slipstream down at the turn 1. Ooh, what'll it be? Ooh! 1 minute 13.3, only good enough for 4th. Mm -mm -mm. Shumi's not going to be happy about that at all. Now we have Fernando Alonso in Sector 3. Never mind, we have Kimi Raikkonen about to finish another time to lap. Will it be good enough? He's rounding the big banked corner now. Mm -mm -mm. Only good enough for 7th. That has got to be disappointing for the Iceman. Or maybe good, I don't know. I don't know, was McLaren supposed to be a, a midfield team? Or or were they top rivals along with Renault and Ferrari? Here we have Felipe Massa. Never mind, we have Rubens Barrichello in the Honda. In Sector 1, starting another time to lap. This is getting boring. You know what? End it. So there we have it. From 10th to pole, the grid order looks like this. We've enjoyed it. Hope you have too. We'll see you tomorrow for race day. Goodbye. How am I on pole? How am I on pole? How am I on pole? Never mind. Maybe I do have to find a way to change the difficulty mid-season. This is just ridiculous. 1 minute 12. 1 minute 12.2. Oh, I think I went a little too try-hard. Meanwhile, my teammate is in 18th. Yeah, maybe I need to do find a way to change the difficulty mid-season. Well, whatever, here we go. Start and race. It's a major achievement for him to be at the front of today's grid. Next on the front row is Giancarlo Fisichella. Felipe Massa is in third. Michael Schumacher is next. Fifth is Fernando Alonso. Sixth is Rubens Barrichello. 
seventh place for Juan Pablo Montoya. Eighth is Kimi Raikkonen. Well then. The grid has been cleared. Trying to adjust the volume. Oh. Now we're off. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at OBS. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jeez, YouTube. Stop pausing my playlist. Weave the car left and right on the straights to get some extra heat in those tires. This should add grip when you hit the throttle to start the race. Make sure you try and get as much temperature into the tires before you line up on the grid, as your tires will cool as you're waiting for the rest of the grid to assemble. Trying to weave, Bob and weave. I'm going to have to defend like hell, man. Well, I'm definitely not flat spawning him, but. Mm. Well, my rear tires are good to go. Oh, now they're green. Okay. That should be everyone. Only seconds to go before we're racing. Can really feel the tension. Go! Go! You got off the grid well. So does Fisichel. The field is tightly packed as they head towards the first corner. You're leading out of the first corner. Next is Fisichel. Next is Massa. I'm concerned for my engine. I think I revved it a bit too long there. Let's chase after that home win, boys. And I'm leading away. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Time to pull a Sebastian Vettel and win in a Toro Rosso. Oh, but I don't know about the front straight. My tires are not even good yet. What? They're getting worn already? Dang it, Michelin! I'll try! I'll try. 
But that Reno is crazy quick. Hmm? A Reno's retired. Dang it. Dang it, Fizzy. Leave me alone. I can see him in the mirrors. I don't think so. Die bomb! Okay, no! No! Oh my god! Ugh. Who the fuck? Uh, why are my tires so worn? Why? <laughs> Gosh dang it. Why do bad things always happen to me? The moment I'm enthusiastic about something, something bad happens. And my parents wonder why I became like a wallflower. Why I became ha why I have such a dull personality now. When it comes to being in public. It's because this shit happens. I'd be enthusiastic about something, something bad happens. Is it because I have softs on? Is that why? How the fuck does that make any sense? No. Jeez, nothing important on my phone. Don't... Oh my god. Well, alright, let's see if I can just gain some points. Is first. He's up from second. Michael Schumacher is in second. Third is what? Clean is in fourth place. Next is Ralph what? Schumacher. I thought Six I pressed it. God damn it. Of four places. Weber, seven. This is turning into a Grand Prix to forget. Let's see if I can get the overtake on button. As we head into the final few laps. Massa is first. Heifelt is second. He's moved up from sixth. Rosberg is in third place. Fourth, Michael Schumacher. He slid down from second. Barrichello... I'm saying Button gives up the position. He's going to dive bomb at the turn one. Cleon is seventh. And Weber is in eighth place. Ninth position. Okay, P9 right now. Great time for second three. Keep it up. Side by side with Jensen Button, but I come out on top. Now it's me versus the Iceman, Kimi Raikkonen. Whoa, and we made contact. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. I'll give that back. Yeah, take it back, Kimi. Sorry. Stay off that grass. Try... Try to get that slipstream. Oh wait, he's letting me by. Oh, I don't think I'm going to catch up the Barrichello. Massa in P1 has begun his last lap. Fisichella is in second behind him. Last lap, Felipe Massa looks like he can win it. 
God damn it, what could have been, man? Let's just bring her home, get some nice points. At least Fizzikeller didn't win. Fifth, I'll take fifth. But knowing what could have been, ah, <sighs> that's kind of disappointing. All is forgiven for the problems of 2005. Indianapolis has hosted a fantastic race here today. It's been a credit to everyone involved. The fans attending the circuit today have been treated to a great race and they look very happy. A far cry from the scenes of last year. But this is exactly what F1 racing in America needed. Two weeks from now, we'll be back in familiar F1 territory at Manicourt in the heart of rural France. I hope you'll join us there. Goodbye for now. Well, ain't that a kick in the nuts? I'm glad I got points, but... Man, I could have gotten the victory. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe it'll happen at a Monza, or maybe even France, because that's the next Grand Prix. Your performance at the USGP was outstanding. You're a very special talent. It seems to push our cars to the absolute limit. Yeah, I think I pushed it over the limit. I suspect our com competitors are green with envy. I mean, depends who are our competitors. If our competitors are Ferrari and Renault, then they're not green with envy, since I went from pole to fifth. But if our uh, Competitors are Super Aguri and Midlands, and yeah, they are definitely green with envy. What? Scuderia Tor also promotes Nakamura to first driver. When the hell did this happen? You know, Nakamura has been promoted to the first driver's seat. A spokesman for Scuderia Tor also announced today, having played a strong role as second driver in the seventh place team's previous Grand Prix races, he is now given the opportunity to prove himself as the first driver at the forthcoming Grand Prix de France. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> and Felipe Massa is victorious at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So who's gonna take the title here this season? Driver's table, for now, it looks like Michael Schumacher. Constructor t constructor's table looks like Ferrari. If only it was like that in 2008. I still don't like Hamilton for that one. Or Truly for that one. <laughs> but neither, it's been over a decade. Well yeah, it still hurts. Or it's like getting rejected by your crush. Maybe, maybe it's been over a decade, but it still hurts. <sighs> High school sucks. <laughs> Well, whatever. That's the end of this video. The next, the next one will be at Magnicol in France. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this Grand Prix. There is a lot more, a lot more to come. If you enjoyed, maybe consider subbing because I'm gonna do more of this. Bye.